you know, business, life, and relationship is war. You know, I want to, it's something I wanted to take, you know, is war, is a warfare, you know. When I say is war, you know, war is an acronym, you know, for for, for welfare, you know, accountability and responsibility. But let's just look at war, you know, so that you will understand, you know, what war is, you know, and uh, try and relate it to what I'm, I'm discussing, discussing or what I want to discuss today. You know, um, what is war? You know, when you say war, <laughs> war is, is uh, let me use a layman's term, you know, a layman's uh, uh, um, language so that you know everybody can really understand you know uh, what i'm talking about then i'll relate it to business related to, to 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 life and to to relationship what is war war is we are talking about conflict you know we're talking about fight we're talking about you know quarrel we're talking about you know uh, 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 chaos you know war is not a good thing war is not is not a good thing you know but I want to show you how you can make the best, you know, out of what is even happening around us, you know, today, you know, and uh, that's the essence, you know, of this, of this, uh, 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 my broadcast, you know, what, 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 what are the really causes, you know, of war, you know, you know, what are the causes of war, you know, human beings, you know, we, we, we are. We are uh, we are different, you know, in, 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 in our thinking. We are different in, in in our looks. We are different, you know, in our composition, you know. We are different, you know, and that is why <coughs> we have, for unity's sake, you know, that's why we have laws, you know. We have legal laws. <coughs> you have spiritual laws. You know, you have uh, natural laws that are supposed to bring us together, you know, to work as one, to work in unity. Because in unity, in a place of unity, there, there is power, you know. But because of our differences, you know, because of our differences, you know, uh, you see a lot of people, you know, do not obey. They do not obey, you know, the legal laws. They do not obey the spiritual laws. And they do not obey the natural laws, you know. You know, you know there is what I call disobedience, you know. And there are some people too who also try to manipulate the legal law or manipulate the spiritual laws, you know, or also manipulate the natural laws. And there are also a set of people that are just naturally rebellious, you know. They rebel against legal laws, they rebel against spiritual laws, and they rebel against natural law as, as, as a result of this you know so there is chaos you know there, 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 there is confusion and the, what is even saddening is that those people the custodian of law you know you know of, of whether legal spiritual laws you know you know they they, 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 they often disobey they often disobey you know these laws you know and uh, and because of that you know you know it's is is even even uh, 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 disheartening you know and it's even sad you know people other people you know if the, the custodian of the laws are disobeying the law you know what do you expect you know of the followers you know so these are the things that are actually causing that are causing that are causing war you know in 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 uh, in in the <clears throat> in the global space you know and this war, you know, it's not something that happens whether uh, only in the global space or even in the in the national in national or state level. But it's something that actually starts, you know, from the home. You know, you have war between brothers and sisters. You know, you have war between husband and uh, and uh, and their wives. You know, you have war between you know. Um, between neighbors, you know, now you have war between the white and the black, you have war between the female and the male, you have war between adults and the youth. There is war everywhere, you know. So it's everywhere, you know. If, if you can deal with it on the on the on the smaller scale, it becomes easy, you know, to deal with it on the corporate or larger scale. But the fact is that there is war. There is war. There is war. You know, war, there is war. You know, you know, everywhere. There is war all around us, and the reason why there is war all around us is because you know we are trying to act against you know 
the legal laws, we are trying to act against the spiritual law, we are trying to act against the natural law. And there is this example that I always used. I said 1 plus 2 gives you 3. You know, then 2 plus 1 gives you 3. They give you the same answer, you know. They give you the same result, but it's not the same method. It's not the same method, you know. You know, uh, though they may give you the same result, you know, so the methods that are different. In one, where you have 1 plus 2 equals to 3, you know, there's order. You know, there's order. There, 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 there's structure. You know, there's governance, you know. But a situation where, you know, you, you introduce 2 plus 1 equals to 3, you know, you see, that's, that's an aberration. That's, you are bringing in a disorder. Although people call it creativity or thinking outside the box, you know, but if you actually look at it, you know, that 2 plus 1 equals to 3 is not really 3. It's like when you flip 3, you know, you flip it to the other side. It gives you, you know, an E. It gives you an E, you know. So it may look like 3, but it's not 3. You know, because in the second one, there is disorder, you know. You know, there is, there is disunity, you know. You know, you are trying to arrange you know, the, 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 the natural, you know, or you are trying to go against, you know, the, 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 the status quo, you know, you are trying to go against, you know, you know, the, 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 the legal order, you know, and just to create, you know, maybe a new, a new thing, you know, but, 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 but if there is nothing wrong with the status quo, why should we, you know, you know, change it, you know? You know, if there's nothing wrong with the status quo, we can improve on it. You know, I've been, you know, been the young. Now I am getting old. You know, but there are certain things in life, you know, that are basic, that are generic, that you cannot change. No matter how creative you try to be, you know, you know, you cannot really change them. You know, because these are, you know, things that, you know. Uh, uh, um, they were originally, you know, you know, uh, 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 instituted, you know, by, by the creator. You know, when you try to go against it, you know, it causes, you know, uh, 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 it causes war, you know, you know, and uh, and uh, you, 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 it brings about a lot of consequences, you know, you know, you know, there are a lot of, you know, uh, um, consequences that go with it, you know. Are you following what I'm saying? You know, these are the things, you know, you know, that causes war. When you try to go against the legal laws, try to go against the spiritual laws, and also try to go against the natural law. You know, and, uh, and uh, every individual, you know, every state, every nation, you know, you know are beginning to, to, to find out their strength, you know, in the... Uh, in, in, uh, um, Regarding the method, you know, that they use in warfare, you know, uh, I'm going to look at three, three, three uh, countries, you know, you know, just to drive, you know, my point home, you know, if you notice that, if you look like Israel, if you look at Israel, Israel as a nation, Israel as a country, you know, they, they have spiritual backing, you know, you know, their strength is, 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 uh, is divine, you know. God, Israel has a special favor, you know, from God. God is backing Israel. So no matter how, you know, you know, from history that uh, their enemies may try to go against them, you know, you, you know, they, 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 they never succeed. God will always, you know, uh, 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 raise, you know, leaders, you know, to fight for them or even use other countries, you know, you know, just like he did recently, you know, uh, uh, with, with the U.S. making uh, um, uh, uh, Jerusalem, you know, as, as, as the capital, you know, of, 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 of Israel, you know, he will always raise, you know, a people or raise someone or raise a nation to defend them. And at times that God will even defend, defend the nation, you know, you know, himself. But if you look at America, for instance, you know, America, you know, they have what I call intellectual minds, you know, they have intellectual minds, you know, you know, they, they are very intelligent when it comes to, you know, you know, when it comes to war, you know, you know, they are very, very, you know, their intelligence, you know, is, 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 is standard, you know, is, 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 is superb, if you understand what I'm saying, 
you know but for other countries you know other countries and i want to group every other countries you know as one you know they have you know the weapons of 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 mass destruction you have nuclear weapons you have biological we just discover one now which is uh, uh, the, the, the the biological weapon you know and all that so every country is what i'm trying to bring up from there you know they have their strength they have their their, their area of specialty you know that they use you know to fight, you know, for fight war. Are you get what I'm saying? They fight, fight war. You know, you know, you know. Just like you know, uh, 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 nations, you know, are, are 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 coming out, you know, with their strength. You know, they are trying to, you know, use, you know, something that is that is unique to them. You know, uh, uh, you know, something that is uh, is um, is. Uh, how will I put it now? You know, something that they are well known for. You know, that, that, that is their strength. They are beginning to de, to to define out their own uniqueness when it comes to war. You know, and all that. You see the same way in business, in life, and relationship. There are there are things that are unique. You know, you know that they can use to fight. You know, you know, the war. You know, in business. You know, in life and in relationship. So what are these uh, 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 these uh, um, instruments, you know, or weapons, you know, or tools that you can use to fight business war, or to fight life life, you know, personal branding war and relationship war? So that's what I'm going to discuss today. There are just three, you know. Like I told you, I said business, life, and relationship is war. You know, war is an acronym. You know. You know, if you want to succeed in business, you want to succeed in life, and you want to succeed in relationship, you know, you know, there are, there are, there are, uh, 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 from this acronym that I'm giving you, you know, you need to study them, you know, and actually apply it, you know, if you apply it to your business, you apply it to your life and to your relationship, you will discover that, you know, you will, you will, you will, you will be successful, you will be successful, you know. Business life and relationship, you know. I told you when we we're talking about business, you know, what comes to mind is money. You know, when we're talking about, you know, uh, 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 life, what comes to mind is power. You know, when we're talking about relationship, what comes to mind is sex, which means business life and relationship is about, you know, money, power, you know, and sex. I told you to also in my previous discussion that when I talk about sex, sex has three values, you know. You know, first one is orgasm, you have bonding and procreation. But sex is actually bonding. So in business, you need bonding. You know, in relationship, you need bonding. In life, you need bonding. So business, life, and relationship, you know, is about money, is about power, and is about sex, is about bonding. Are you following what I'm saying? But what does money do? You know, what does the money do? Money is about welfare. Money is about welfare, you know. So if you're doing business, you know, if you are doing business, you know, you know, the first thing, you know, that should be on your mind is to see how you can use money, you know, to create welfare, you know, for yourself and for people, for your community, you know, is about welfare. Money is about welfare. That's why I said the first acronym, you know, you know, of, of first letter in war is warfare. Is is W. So that W is is welfare. You know, you change warfare, you know, to welfare. You know, business money is about welfare. It's about you know, you know, you know, you know, providing added value, you know, to people. So that's what money, money, that's the ulterior motive, you know, that is the, the goal, you know, of money is to provide welfare. So if you are doing business without having a welfare in mind, you know, it will backfire. It will create war. Do you understand? It will create war. You know, if you try to deny people of their wealth, of their welfare, you know, it will create, there will be chaos. You know, there will be, there will be, there will be, there will be, there will be fight. There will be quarrel. You know, the first first thing that should be on your mind if you want to succeed in business, you know, it should be welfare. Welfare. The same thing with life and relationship. You know, anything that you do that would deny people of their welfare, it will it causes war, it causes fight, it causes chaos. You know, are you following what I'm saying? So if you are making money, you know, and you don't have welfare at the back of your mind from day one, you know, you are starting a war. 
you are starting a war whether in small scale business or corporate or corporate organization you know if you do not have welfare in mind you know from day one you are starting warfare you know you see a lot of people you know they get into business to make money just for themselves without even having interest you know of their workers without having interest you know of their community without having interest you know you know of of of, of the global space and that's why you know you know we have war you know you know you know in prevailing you know in the global space are you following saying then the second part you know of 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 it is accountability you know when we're talking about accountability like i told you i said business life and relationship they go together you know business when you talk about business you're talking about money but when you are talking about life you're talking about power you're talking about power you're talking about control you know you know you know power is about control power is about connectivity you know you know power is about you know being in charge you know you know being in charge you know is not you know for for for, for destroying you know it's not for destruction be in charge is not for 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 corruption you know be in charge is supposed to be you know you know uh, for accountability you know you know being accountable you know to 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 a higher power you know and also being accountable you know to 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 whoever you know you 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 are leading you know so if there is no accountability you know so you are also declaring war you are declaring war you know, you know, notice that a lot of people, you know, they are seeking power. They want to have power because they want to have control and they want to use it, you know, to oppress others. They want to use it, you know, you know, you know, to, to, to deprive others of their, of their basic rights, you know. And these are things that causes war. You know, power is for accountability. You know, power is not to dominate. Power is to, 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 to uplift others. Power is to, you know, you know, you know, is to, is to, you know, uh, and, and, and to be accountable, you know, to, 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 to God, you know, and to people, you know, you, you are, that are, that you are, you are supposed to govern. Are you following what I'm saying? Then the third part of it, you know, which is the arrow, which is, which is, which is uh, in war, you know, is, is, is responsibility. You know, that brings us to the last, you know, like I said, business life and relationship. Relationship, when you talk about relationship, what comes to mind, you know, is sex. You know, sex, you know, when we're looking at sex, sex is about responsibility. Sex is about responsibility. You know, if you are getting into a relationship and you are not ready to be responsible, you know, to your partner, or you are not ready to be responsible to for to responsible to your children, you know, you know, then you are starting a war from the one. You are starting a war. You are you are initiating a war because relationship or sex is about responsibility. What do you see nowadays? You have a lot of people who are only interested in when it comes to a relationship. They are only interested in the benefits. You know, they are only interested in the orgasm. They are only interested in the procreation. You know, even raising children without even taking care of the children. You know, they are not interested in the essence. You know, of 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 of, of sex or in the essence of relationship, which is bonding. You know, relationship is about bonding. It's about bringing souls together. It's about bringing hearts together. It's about unity. Because in the place of unity, there is power. But what do you see nowadays? You know, you see people, they are only just interested in the benefits. They are only interested, you know, in the orgasm. But they are not willing, you know, to bond. They are not willing to be responsible. You know, you know, you know, in the absence of, 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 of responsibility, what happens? It causes war. It causes war. And that is what is happening today. You know, you see in homes, you know, you know, relationship actually starts from home. You know, the way, you know, a father and a mother relate, you know, to themselves, in part on the way, you know, the children, you know, in part on the lives of the children. And also in part, you know, on the society. You know, you have a situation now, this where parents, you know, you know, they are not even responsible for their children. You know, people are just bringing children into this world without taking care of them. You know, what are you doing? You know, you are causing, you are, you are, you are starting a war. 
you know, because those children, you know, that you are raising, they are going to go out into the society with that mindset. You know, that's what they are going to go out into, go out, they are going to go into the society with the mindset. And that's exactly what is happening in the world today. Are you following what I'm saying? You know, that's exactly what is happening. You know, you know, so business, you know, you know, life and relationship, if you want to succeed, you know, what makes you to succeed in business, life and relationship, you know, is you, you know, having welfare, you know, in mind, you know, you know, being accountable and being responsible. So this is war, you know, it is war, but not the kind of war that's happening in the world today. What you are seeing in the world today is rebellion, is disobedience, is manipulation, it is hypocrisy, it is lies, is immorality. That is what is causing, you know, the tension, the chaos, the turbulence, the epidemic that is happening in the world today. You know, you know, but there's a different kind of war, you know. That is totally opposite to the war, you know, that is happening in the world today. And what is that war? It's welfare, accountability, and responsibility. You know, this is a call, you know, to you out there that if you want to succeed, you know, if you want to, you know, be successful in business, in life, and in relationship, you know, you first thing that you have in your mind is welfare. You know, is welfare. Begin to see every human being whether black or white whether short or tall you know whether 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 fat or slim you know at first as a human being you know we are all human beings you know we are created by god you know god created us you know you know to to to, to, to protect one another now the scripture that i like you know where the bible said that you know you are created for your neighbor's safety if you are created for your neighbor's safety, your neighbor is also created for your safety. Whether your neighbor is black or white, you know, whether your neighbor is brown, you know, you know, no matter the color, no matter the size, you are created, you know, for your safety. You know, when we are talking about safety, we are talking about the welfare, you know, of your neighbor. You know, but in a situation where, you know, you, you don't care, you know, for your neighbors, you only care for yourself. You know, in a situation where you know we we, we are we are we, we are you know uh, uh, um, you know you know forming cliques, you know you know based on colors, based on 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 uh, on, on, on uh, um, tribes, you know, and all that, you know, it will always cause war. You can see what is happening in America today. You can see what exactly what's happening and happening in America today. So if we begin to care for one another, if we begin to show love for one another, you know, you know, in, uh, uh, and irrespective of the color, you know, and uh, irrespective of the size, you know, of shape, you know, and all that, you will discover that the world will live in peace. We will live in peace and harmony. Do you understand? So whatever power that you have, whether it's small or larger measure, let us begin, you know, to be accountable you know to 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 to, to our maker to our creator you know let us always know that you know you know that the absolute power belongs to god absolute power belongs to god you know absolute power does not belong to any man you know so you should be conscious of that so that's to be accountable to god and also be accountable to people you know that that you are you know you are uh, you are you are leaders you know you, you, that comes under your leadership, you know, try as much as possible to, come, to be accountable. Because if you are not being accountable, one day they are going to rise up against you. And that will cause war. You know, the same thing with relationship. Husband and wife, father, you know, and, and, and children, you know, let us be responsible, you know. Because relationship is about responsibility. It is about responsibility. You are supposed to care for one another. We are supposed to be responsible for each other. You know, you see a lot of youth nowadays. They are only interested, you know, in 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 uh, uh, in the orgasm, you know, in relationship. You know, you see cases where a young uh, 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 boy will impregnate a girl, you know, and uh, the same girl that he calls his love, you know, he's the only sugar in his tea, the only geisha or sardine in his cupboard. But the girl gets pregnant, he abandons her, you know, without taking that being responsible for her. 
You know, what do you call that? Is that love? You know, relationship is about responsibility. Sex is about responsibility. If you are not ready to be responsible for a child, why are you bringing the child into this world? You know, why are you bringing the child into this world? Someday the child is going to rise up against you. You know, are you fond of saying, I'm very sure a lot of children today, if they were given opportunity to choose the kind of parents, you know, that they would, they would, they, 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 they would like to bring them into this world, I'm sure they would not have chosen the kind of parents that they have today. You know, because most parents are not responsible. You know, everything, you know, you know, you know, that you see that's happening in, in the world today, you know, it actually started, you know, you know from, 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 from homes. Because the homes is the primary, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, source of all the chaos, you know, that is going on in, in the world today. A child that is not properly raised, if you bring that child to the society, you know, you see, that will reflect on whatever he or she is doing. There is something that I do in my business, you know, when we employ people, you know, before we start giving them, you know, responsibility, well, first, the first thing that we do, you know, we first of all work on the mindset. You know, we work on the mindset. You, you know, there are some children. You know, you know, you know, business life is not just about talent. It's not just about gifts. It's not just a, it's not just about you being good. You know, in what you are doing, but a lot has to do with your character and your attitude. You know, it's your character and your attitude that reflect in whatever you do. Do you understand? People don't just buy what you are selling. They buy into you first before they accept what you are selling or offering to them. You know, so welfare, accountability, responsibility, all this has to do with your character. It has to do with your attitude, you know, not even your talent. Are you following what I'm saying? A lot of people today, they project, you know, their talent, but they do not, you know, work on their character and on their, on, 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 on their, on, on their attitude, you know, which is actually, you know, the back end, you know, these are the things that actually reflect, you know, in, 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 the, in, in, in what you are doing. Are you full of saying someone that is not detailed, you know, you know, <laughs> you, he will reflect on what he or she is doing. You know, if you are dirty, it will reflect on what you are doing. If you are not well organized, it will reflect on what you are doing. You know, so these are the things, you know, that causes war. These are the things that causes tension. These are the things that causes chaos in the world today. You know, but we have to start today. It's not too late to start correcting it. In the place of war, you know, let's have another kind of war. Just like you have 1 plus 2 equals to 3, 2 plus 1 equals to 3. Let us begin to retrace our step from 2 plus 1 equals to 3 to 1 plus 2 equals to 3, which is the original state, you know, that God has created us to be in. Let us stop rebelling against the legal laws. Let us stop rebelling against the spiritual laws. Let us stop rebelling against the natural laws. Let us even stop manipulation. Let's stop outright rebellion. You know, laws, legal laws, spiritual laws, and natural laws, they are for our own good. They are for our own good. You know, is there, 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 are, there, there are things that will help us to live, you know, in unity. There are things that will help us to live, you know, as one, you know. People should stop being opportunists. Stop taking advantage advantage of, of situations and circumstances, you know, for your own selfish, you know, interest. You know, it's not good. Look at what is even happening in America. You know, it is it's bad enough that you know somebody is is uh, is, uh, is 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 dead. You know, and all that. You know, and and um, some uh, people are protesting. You know, to make sure that you know that this thing should stop. And you have people are take a lot of people you know are taking advantage of this to 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 destroy businesses to loot to steal you know they they, they, are, they are taking opportunity of what is happening now you know to 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 to, to do something that, that that is not right can two wrong make it right you know can two wrong make it right it's not possible you know you know but are you even considering you should understand you know the the, the, the welfare of those those owners of the shops you know the, it, it, their shops you know you know they are not the one that that kid that kid uh, uh, george floyd you know why are they looting their business why are they destroying their business why are they destroying cars 
You know, why are they destroying cars? Destroying cars? You know, you know. I'm not sure. You know, that's the way Martin Luther King did it, or Malcolm Malcolm S did it. Do you understand? You know, it's good for us to 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 to, to express our anger. It's good for us to show. You know, uh, you know our grievances. You know, you know, and all that. You know, but, but the truth is that let's do it so that you know our message that we're trying to send across, you know, will not be will not be you know uh, uh, corrupted. Let us have these three things in mind. You know, you know the welfare, you know, of of one another. You know, let us be accountable, you know, to God, and at the same time, let us be responsible. You know, so business life and relationship is war, but not the kind of war that is going on in the world today. But the kind of war, you know, you know, that will benefit each and every one of us. And that war is welfare, accountability, and responsibility. Yeah.